I used to live with a heart that was less of a massacre and more of a train station platform. Because the truth is, the first time we undressed, my chest swallowed a central station rush hour. And for moments, I loved as inevitably as people in crowds learn each other's smells without ever drawing boundaries for intimacy. But you went by like a busy day. And I began hating myself in subway stations where you would wave from your seats in the metro and would crash making a beach out of my chest. Would you care to know that trains make me nauseous now when I've stopped believing in love? Once your goodbyes force their open fingers into my throat, making me regurgitate everything you had fed me the night before and I'd still dip my hands and force feed it back into my stomach. But it was me who, who wandered off in the end. Because I was never built to keep no lover's breath floating or, or anchor all hearts into a standstill. I wandered off because loyalty is no responsibility for underwater orphanages or people with obsolete backbones or broken hypocrites like myself. And I asked you not to cry rose petals tumbling down the sides of a moving hearse. Try to find serenity in the calm of our end. Because you know in love as I was with you, I, I downpoured my guts empty. And in love as you were the second I got done raining thing back and cracked translucent sunlight, I still pray you find yourself a hurricane that would reduce whatever I was into a drizzle. Although I tried so hard to be selfless enough to make sure dark noticed my desk lamp that had dimmed itself down for the sake of passion, for the sake of saying you are not void. I will fast on my electric search just so you could feel present. But my patience must have been ingrown in a boy in the corner of the Superdome having just survived Katrina and aching for a place to take an urgent piss. And I, I ache in that way too for a piece of fine text for novelty, for one more hour of of good ink and then for more new lovers. So, and so now my life suspends between the edges of starvation and constraint, sliding as if your Jesus had mounted my soul along the wires of an aerial ski lift. And now that it's over, I go back to I used to be. I used to be scared of the seconds between staring at a wall and falling asleep because nothing was as dangerous to my sobriety as the seconds I had to spend with myself. And I go back to my passion for crowds for they are the only overdose of presence that has me gasping for breath without needing the excuse of being in love. And I, I don't have it, love. I just, I just got people in my bed that make me feel like, like pillowcases lasting for one month before tumbling in a washing machine that cleans me off as a mistake. And I come out shaken, feeling only lost in the knowing of being forgotten. See, see maybe, I, maybe I had a god but no religion and made a church out of your perfume bottles. But I believe believed in your divinity for as long as we lasted. So please, never wish me ill, because I am the one living knowing I left and it's punishment enough. And one day, I have children, and every night, my babies will dock, and I will, I will lay beside my soulmate, and I will excuse myself from bed, and I'll be writing you into finding me again. But perhaps you were right all along. Perhaps I'm a poet who likes pain and writes lies and make me sound like a martyr to everybody else. Project Pen